welcome to the Ministry of Gamers. Yes, and a big hello to all of our standard extra watchers. Marvellous. And what are we looking at today, Jay? Well, Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares. Hmm. That's a spiffing coat, by the way. Oh, thanks. They're all the rage. Where? Alaska. <laughs> Here we go again with this wonderful nightmarish gem from Tarsia Studios, this time on the Nintendo Switch. Lose yourself in this twisted world once again as you play as a small girl named Six, working her way through nightmarish puzzles and horrifying stealth sections. The controls are simple, pulling and pushing boxes, jumping, grabbing ledges and switches, using the lighter to, um, light things. It all works well to deliver an intuitive experience where you figure things out in your own time, or often with something horrible chasing you down. The design is clear, but also intensely intricate and very refreshing. The enemies you face are a colourful variety of nope. This guy here is one of the freakiest enemies in the game I've ever seen, slowly weaving his spindly arms around to find you. It's especially terrifying when you step carelessly on a loose floorboard and attract his attention. The stealth works really well, but there will be times when it will test your patience. Some sections are a little trial and error and can be frustrating, but the game's dark beauty just kept pulling me back. It also knows when to dial up the tension and gives you moments where every second counts to figure out where to hide, or to just run for your life. There's a lot of replay value to be had with hidden items to find and lanterns and candles to light, and the story is very intriguing. I don't want to say too much about it, as there are some great wow moments throughout, but put simply, you are a starving girl trying to escape this very strange and dark place. There is no dialogue at all, everything is told through visuals and incredible sound design, giving the game a very atmospheric, foreboding feel. I don't think this translates well playing handheld on the Switch, but docked and on your home entertainment system, this game really shines. The Switch version also makes use of the Joy-Con's HD Rumble feature, and includes all previously released DLC as a nice bonus. There's three in total, titled The Depths, The Hideaway and The Residence. Each take place during Six's adventure, but you play as a boy known as The Runaway. It's a great package for the Switch that will give you a nice chunk of playtime, giving this a mug 8 out of 10. And if you didn't get round to playing it the first time, go get it now! Literally! Right now? Yes, now! And that was Little Nightmares. What a fantastic game. If you want to watch some more of our videos, then check out our full YouTube channel here. As always, I've been Bren. I've been Jay. Ooh, seems you've found a friend. Yeah, I think it's getting a bit tetchy. Oh.